ever feel like you're just flipping a coin when it comes to predicting what's going to happen next? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I know that feeling. But what if we could actually, I don't know, calculate the odds of something happening? Well, we can. That's where our deep dive today comes in. Probability mass functions. PMFs, right. Exactly. They sound kind of intimidating, but they're like cheat codes for understanding random events. Okay, I'm intrigued. Uh So we've got this source document all about discrete probability mass functions, and it's got this whole BGBPP thing going on. Yeah, that BGBPP thing, it's actually super helpful. Each letter stands for a different type of PMF, and it's a good way to keep them all straight. All right, so let's break it down then, starting with B Bernoulli. What's that all about? Bernoulli is like the basic building block. Imagine flipping a coin, right? Heads or tails, classic. (laughs) Exactly. Bernoulli tells you the probability of getting a specific outcome, heads or tails, on a single flip. One shot, two possibilities. Okay, so if I'm trying to predict if my favorite sports team will win their next game. Bernoulli. It's a single event, win or lose. So I can use Bernoulli to figure out the odds. You got it. Sweet. All right, so what about G? That's geometric, right? Yep. This one's all about how long you have to wait for something to happen. Okay, I'm picturing those carnival games where you have to get the ball in the basket. Perfect example. Let's say you really want that giant stuffed animal. The geometric distribution tells you the probability of winning, getting the ball in on your first try, your second, your third, and so on. So it's about when that first success happens. Exactly. Man, this stuff is way more interesting than I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, what about the second B binomial? Think of binomial like Bernoulli's cooler, older sibling. Instead of one coin flip, we're talking about multiple flips. Okay, so like flipping a coin 10 times. Exactly. Binomial tells you the probability of getting a specific number of heads or tails within those 10 flips. So if I wanted to know the odds of getting like exactly seven heads out of 10 flips. Binomial's got you covered. It's all about those multiple trials. This is starting to make so much sense now. Yeah. Okay, we've got two down, three to go. What about Pace Pascal? Pascal is a little trickier, but think of it like this. You're focused on the failures leading up to a success. Failures. Okay, now I'm lost. So let's say you want to win three times at that carnival game. Pascal helps you figure out the probability of, say, having to play the game six times, meaning three wins and three losses, before you hit your goal of three wins. Ah, so it's not just about the wins. It's about the whole journey to get there. Exactly. It's about how many times you got to pick yourself up and try again. Love that. Okay, last one, P for Poisson. What's that about? Poisson, that's your guy for those rare events. Think earthquakes or meteor showers, stuff that doesn't happen all the time. Okay, yeah, those are pretty random. Right, but Poisson helps us predict the probability of a certain number of those rare events happening within a certain time frame or area. Like, what are the chances of two meteor showers happening in the same month? Wow, so Poisson is like the ultimate predictor for the unpredictable. Exactly. So we've got Bernoulli for single events, geometric for time to first success, binomial for multiple trials, Pascal for failures before success, and Poisson for those rare event scenarios. And our trusty BGBPP acronym keeps it all straight. You've got it. This deep dive has been amazing. It's like we've unlocked a whole new level of understanding the world around us. And the best part is you don't have to be a math whiz to use these concepts. Just understanding the basics can help you make more informed decisions every day. So next time you're, I don't know, placing a bet on a game or reading about earthquakes, remember BGBPP. It's your secret weapon for navigating the world of probability.